All right, so I wanted to point something out to you guys. I was just looking at this, and obviously this is focused in on multiplayer. So one of the big things that I wanted to show you is off in the corner here, okay? You get to see these pelicans. Now, this doesn't look like anything significant, but since this image right here is so heavily focused on the multiplayer, I mean, we're seeing new weapons and new skins for weapons and new armors and, and whatnot that we've never seen before. Obviously, this is gonna be about multiplayer. Let's look at a few things first. Redesign on the pistol, right? Looks incredible. Also, right here, having a cloth around your neck, super cool. I don't think we really, we had something like that for June, but we never had something that looked like that. Uh, I, I, it, it looks pretty sweet. Um, also, you see here that I think he is holding an SMG. No, 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 this is the bulldog that he's holding, which is appropriate for this character right here. Uh, also right here, just the, the red banished tint on this assault rifle looks incredible. Uh, and then this, I think, is the stalker rifle. In the first video that I made on this, the quick little announcement, I think this is the stalker rifle. Uh, which looks amazing and it seems like it shoots an orange reddish beam of some sort uh, June with the bullets is coming back on his shoulders, which is which is sweet, but this right here, okay? I want to remind you guys of Clobriel and what he said Since this right here is focused on multiplayer the whole thing is just about the Spartans and, and whatnot seems like it's gonna be about multiplayer this e3 reveal we look at it, and what we can see here is, I know there won't be a battle royale mode, but to my limited knowledge, instead of the team, it is creating a big team battle 2.0, which is a better fit for Halo, right? And he says Pelican drops right there, including massively enhanced vehicular combat, squad spawning, incoming Pelican drops, and many more surprises. So uh, I'm not trying to, you know, reach too far on this, but since this is based on multiplayer, showing off new Spartans and obviously as you can see here uh, new undersuits and, and, and whatnot. I imagine that having some pelicans in there is not just like a oh it's Halo. It's it's hinting at pelicans being involved in a multiplayer in some fashion. I think that backs up Clove Reel's, uh you know tweet. I think it does. And I think that's also the reason why that tweet got taken down because it was very on point. So yeah, uh, I, 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 I think the Pelicans mean more than just them being in the left corner because of the fact that you don't really see Pelicans in any other game mode. Yeah, you saw them in Warzone, but only time you ever saw them really was in big game modes. So I think what we're going to see is an example of that, some type of showcase of that BTB mode uh, that is coming to Halo Infinite that got teased a while back. So. Yeah, that's my thoughts. Uh, you know, there's always something in each promotional piece uh, regarding Halo. And, and I think that, that that's my guess, that we're actually going to get some insight on the, the BTB mode, which is actually an obvious guess because if you're gonna, <laughs> if you're going to announce anything, you're going to announce the big game mode. But just wanted to point that out. I think that the tweet and this image... They, they work well together because the image backed up the tweet from my, from my uh, perspective. Pelican drops. Looks like there might be pelican drops. Uh, like I said, I don't think it's just as simple as pelicans being in the, in, in the marketing material. I, I think it serves a purpose just like every other piece of content in this image, right? The armors, the weapons, everything. And there's a reason why you see a mountain landscape with the pelicans flying over. I think we're going to see a massive map with that feels very Halo that's going to include many of the things we see in this tweet right here. Alrighty, guys, uh, let me know your thoughts below. Do you think this backs it up? Am I reaching too far? Am I looking too much into it? Uh, I know a bit about marketing and I know that the only things you include within it are the things that are going to be shown and expanded upon. So I feel as if that is there for a very specific reason. And I think we are about to be in for some very surprising content come E3. Alrighty, that'll be the last video I make on this, but uh, I just wanted to point that out so no one else talking about it. Peace.